Well, it's that time of year, of course, a time when plenty of us will make that holiday charitable donation. But now more than ever before, you have to do your homework to ensure you're making the right charity choice. Five on your side, troubleshooter Joe Paganak has talked with some of the experts. And Joe, there are many ways to run background checks before you donate. Well, that's right. The BBB and the Ohio Attorney General's Office has made your online on your side resources. And you know, a little common sense can also go a long way. Donate to places that they know. Donate to places that they've been impacted by or that they have a one-touch realization of really what they do. Do your research. Check to see if a charity is registered with the state. In Ohio, all charities need to be registered with the Ohio Attorney General, so you can go online, look up the Ohio Attorney General. They have a place there where you can check to make sure the charity is properly registered. Avoid making that donation by phone. When it comes to uh, solicitations in general, whether it be email, phone, or anything, to make sure that it, the people that you're talking to or the people that you're getting correspondence from truly are who they say that they are. Beware of the charity name game. Some charities use names that are very similar to long-standing, reputable charities. So make sure that you know who you're giving that donation to. Check them out very carefully. Find out how much of the charity dollar actually goes to the cause. The Better Business Bureau standards say at a minimum you need to spend 65% of your donations um, on programs and no more than 35% on related fundraising costs. And money isn't the only way to give. The opportunity to donate a toy so that we can give the kids that otherwise wouldn't have a toy, a toy for Christmas. Um, the opportunity for them to volunteer and, you know, and pass out a toy to a family or a kid. And the Salvation Army of Greater Cleveland officially kicks off its kettle drive this Friday. It's looking to raise $693,000 to support more than 3,200 families throughout these donations. More than 500 kettle locations will be out there throughout Northeast Ohio. And now to an on your side update to yesterday's investigation. Judy Bear of Cleveland left with no access to funds in her first merit checking account for three weeks, unable to buy food or even pay bills. The bank account was frozen after a crook stole hundreds using an old debit card. First Merit Bank failed to close back in July. Well, hours after News Channel 5 got involved, we're happy to report First Merit has now given Judy access to all her funds. Case closed. On your side, I'm troubleshooter Joe Paganakis.